Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric and tons of games were revealed at Nintendo's E3 Direct for 2019. Today I'm going to do a tier list where I'm going to rank every single Nintendo game that was revealed at E3. So without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and get this video started. <music> So here we go. We have a tier list of some of the reveals that were shown at E3. And there was a lot, a lot more than this. But I think this is kind of like a, a Reader's Digest version of it. And you can see there's a handful on the bottom. And it's ranked from the best thing ever, S, 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 A, B, C, D, Y, and Trash. So we are going to go ahead and order these. And my preference. Now, I know some of you guys might have your own preference, your own rankings that are completely different from mine. Don't want to trigger anybody, but if you do have something different, feel free to comment down below and show me your rankings. And I'll even leave a link down below so you can uh, put your own tier list of this. So, guys, we are starting off with Animal Crossing. It's the first one. I know this one was delayed, and this one's one that a lot of people have been waiting on. Uh, me personally, I've played the Wii one the um, and the 3DS one, and that's about it. Um, City City Folk and New Leaf and uh, Wild, what were the, like, three of them. I think I've played three different Animal Crossing games, so that's it. Um, honestly, I don't think it's the greatest game ever. I'm not really worried about it being... Um, delayed or anything. I know that's gonna upset some people, but I will say that it was a good reveal So I will put it at SS just because that is a big game that I know a lot of people are looking forward to now We have Astral Chain, which looks really cool. Looks like a really action-packed Anime type of vibe and everything looks like there's gonna be a lot of action and stuff like that um, I've been looking forward to it. I know it, it seems like nobody's really talking about it But I'll go ahead and rank that one at an A just because that was advertised last year and now it's finally coming out. Cadence of Hyrule. I have not played Crypt of the Necro Dancer, but Cadence of Hyrule is coming out later this week. Um, it's a Zelda related game, so of course I'm going to like it, but I don't think it is the best thing ever or SS. So I'm going to go ahead and put that at S rank. Now Contra Rogue Core. Um, this was a nice little surprise for me. I hadn't been following, didn't even know there was going to be a new Contra game coming out. Um, and they announced it alongside the Contra Konami collection. Honestly, I don't know. I'm on the fence about it just because it is an isometric like 3D type of Contra. I would have liked something to feel a little bit more old school. It's a classic franchise, but for me, it, it just it's satisfactory, but it doesn't like entail me thinking it's one of the greatest reveals ever. Who knows? Now, Damon X Machina, or Damon X Machina, or however you pronounce this, they had a demo a while back on the Nintendo Switch, and I've played it, and it was kind of a little meh, to be honest, but I'm still kind of excited for this game just by the fact that it looks pretty cool. Looks like it has a lot of things to do with it and stuff. I don't judge books off of their uh, demos, to be quite honest, because that demo came out way in advance of the full game, so things can definitely change. But I will say it's something that I'm looking forward to. So I will put that as an A at least because it looks like an interesting game. Now we got Dragon Quest Quest 11. I am all for Dragon Quest and everything. Um, I haven't played a mainline Dragon Quest game in quite some time. But I do know that uh, this one's actually quite enjoyed. I believe uh, Happy Console Gamer's uh, wife and himself play it constantly. Um... For me, I'm going to have to put that at a B, though. Um, I don't know. I I'm just not really hyped for it. Empire of Sin, uh, I don't know. That just looked like a weird gangster, like, noir type of game. They didn't even show any gameplay. It was more like a cinematic. Uh, it looked cool, but it's just, I don't know. I need to see a little bit more. Uh, Fire Emblem, Three Houses. I I'm not really too familiar with Fire Emblem beyond um, <laughs> the casual person. Which, you know, I have Fire Emblem Warriors. I have um, a couple of Fire Emblem games from the past. But I'm just, I'm not really hardcore into it. I don't know. I just, it seems like they've been talking about this game for over two years. And it hasn't come out yet. And it's finally coming here. And I feel all hype 
before this game has completely died down. I don't know. It's just me, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna have to say, um, I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give Fire Emblem a B. Uh, now we have the new Breath of the Wild sequel that was just revealed. What the hell do you think I'm gonna put it at? The best thing ever. Because it's Breath of the Wild, it's a brand new Zelda, it was a surprise. Sure, we knew it was already in development when they had a job listing. I did a video talking about that actually earlier this past year. But I wasn't expecting anything to be revealed at E3. That was a pleasant surprise to at least have some kind of teaser. So, definitely looking forward to trying that game out and sinking my hop, hop, hop teeth into that. And seeing if it's a sweet game or if it's trash. But it's Zelda. Of course it's not going to be trash. Now this next one is kind of hard to see on the logo. Uh, I guess that's another Breath of the Wild icon for whatever reason. I guess whoever made this kind of uh, screwed up a little bit. Now we got Link's Awakening. Um, definitely looking forward to that. I haven't played much of the original on the Game Boy. But I do enjoy what I have played in the past and everything like that. I like the new art style of this Switch version of it. Like it kind of looks like little dolls, like little toy, wooden toys and stuff. I think it looks really neat. Um, I'm going to be getting this day one. I saw that there's a special edition that comes with like a little Game Boy looking thing that I'm going to be snagging up. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, I'm definitely looking forward to that. I'm going to put it in an S ranking just because... Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm not totally super hyped for it, but I am going to be getting it. Uh, I find it about the same level of Cadence of Hyrule where I'm like, you know what? That looks really cool. I was a fan of the first Luigi's Mansion. I have the second one, but never completed it. Um, only played it for a little bit. I'm just glad that they are taking advantage of the Luigi's Mansion franchise and that we got to see a lot more gameplay. Um, leaning toward being an S. It's above an A for sure. But I don't know if I'm as hyped for it as I am Zelda. <laughs> so Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Uh, I've I've never played one of those games before. But I know it is big news that they're doing it to kind of help uh, promote the Olympics and stuff like that. And the whole Mario versus Sonic thing. It looks like a lot of fun. Again, I've yet to play one. So I'm going to rank that as a C. It's not a horrible announcement. It was a decent surprise because I wasn't expecting one. But yeah, I'm going to put it in a C. Now, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, I'm definitely looking forward to this, especially because it's a Switch exclusive. I'm going to put that up here as an SS. It looks like there's so many create, uh, characters on there, so much unlockables, missions, things to do. It, awesome. it looks awesome. It looks like it's going to be a blast. It's coming out in July, so not too long from now. A little over a month. Uh, definitely looking forward to that. No More Heroes 3, I've never played anything in this series, and I actually I'm kind of indifferent about it. I don't know what to think about it. I, I really honestly don't care. So I'm going to rank that as a C. Panzer Dragoon. I, I Again, another game that I haven't played, but I've heard great things about. I'm going to put that as a C too, because it wasn't a terrible announcement. It was a decent surprise. I know some of my buddies like Sean Long from RGT85 are actually really um, into Panzer Dragoon type of stuff. So I'm going to put that as a solid C. Pokemon, okay, I know it's a big release. Again, I'm not super hyped for it, but I will consider it an S rank. But I, I just, I don't want to buy two different games. I know they have a bundle coming out with it that includes both. But it, it looks neat. I, I, again, I'm not a big Pokemon guy. Uh, it hasn't really ever been my thing, to be quite honest. But I, I do recognize that it was a big release. And then Resident Evil 5 and 6 were revealed to be coming out. Uh, I haven't played either one of those actually, but I'm still gonna rank it a a A or at least a B. Let's do a B because it's passable. I haven't. I'm not too familiar with both of those. I think it's cool, but they're digital only, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, is this another Pokemon? Why the hell do they have stuff twice? I guess I'll put Pokemon there. Now we got Smash Brothers characters from Dragon Quest. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. I'll go ahead and rank that at a. A B though, because I wasn't as hyped for it as I was for Banjo Kazooie being revealed in Smash Brothers, which I will give an A. And then the Dark Crystal, honestly, I felt that was kind of weird. Uh, I know there's a Netflix series coming out and everything like that, so they're probably using this to promote that. Uh, but I wasn't hyped. That was probably the game that I was like the least caring about <laughs> on the Switch um, presentation. I was just like kind of like. Ah. 
I don't, I don't know. Uh, Witcher 3, that one was kind of obvious that it was coming out. I'm definitely hyped for it though because I did enjoy it on my Xbox One. So I'm going to put that as an S rank. Um, great game. One of the best games I've ever played in my life. So if you have not played it yet and it's coming out on Switch and that's your platform, I recommend you check it out. You will fall in love with it. And then Trials of Mana, I'm actually excited about that, but I'm more excited about the Mana Collection finally coming to North America after being in Japan for like over a year. So this is my ranking right here, guys. Not too shabby, right? Hopefully I didn't trigger some of you guys. I tried to be fair just based on my preferences and stuff. So feel free to comment down below what you would like to rank your stuff as. And yeah, remember, if you're brand new to the channel, feel free to throw a subscription. Don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. And I will see you on the next one, guys. Peace out. Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric. This is a convention announcement. Yes, my next convention will be the Southeast Game Exchange in Greenville, South Carolina. Ric Flair country, my favorite pro wrestler. I absolutely cannot wait to come out and talk to you guys, meet you, and come out for my first time. I have not been to this convention ever, but this is in August. This is August 24th and August 25th again at the greenville convention center and it's going to be the fourth annual southeast game exchange now there's going to be some other guests there besides me just to give you a clue of who will be there you got me you got the game chasers uh shady j will be in the house you got olivia mears you got pixel game squad riff and you ha also have generation gap gaming and your player 2, Russ Lyman, NES Addict, JLove81, BP Retro Power. The list goes on and on and on. If you go to their website, check it out, southeastgameexchange.com. You can actually pre-order your tickets right now. Uh, I'm generally excited because it's not too often that I go to the East Coast for a convention. So it's a whole new avenue of people at a con that I've never met before. I will have t-shirts on hand if you want to pick them up and buy one Support yourself as part of the ABE Nation. And yeah, guys, I'm looking forward to it. Again, Southeast Game Exchange. It will be August 24th and 25th at the Greenville Convention Center. So I will see you there, guys. Looking forward to it. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description.